make it a little bit better. Use a guts move, like, and be a little contrarian. And it's just like, now, Claude, let's suppose, just imagine for a moment, three months from now, right before the next market crash, where that house is sold, you have that money in the bank, and you know, you're, you're not married, or are you? Oh yeah, I am. Three kids. And and and, and 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 I'm sure that you know that your wife is very understanding about having the house vacant there, and she's very supportive of all the whole idea, or, or isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Now go into the reverse then, psychology. That's where I'm so going. You wouldn't want to do. You that. wouldn't be interested in in doing that, yeah. or would you? Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be. See, off the role play. If you go negative, what does that force me to answer? I, 90% of the time, I will answer in the opposite way. Yeah. You wouldn't want, if we could fix that problem, imagine for a moment, you know, we could fix this problem. You got the money in the bank. You got this burden off your back. You don't have to deal with the tenants, the toilets, the repairs, the empty property. You can, can you talk to your wife tonight? You're having a nice steak. Do you, do you like steak, Mr. Landry? <laughs> sure. You're, you're a vegan. Are you, are you, you're yeah, the, I am. You're I'm the vegan. vegan. Oh, can you imagine the best um, miso, um, what do they call that great Japanese? Sushi or something or something. Sushi or something like that. Yeah. You're having this great meal. You're having some little sake on the side. It's a, it, it's comfortable fireplaces going and you tell your lovely bride that the problem is over. You're getting some cash and everything. How does that, that isn't the way you want to go, is it? I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, that's exactly the way I want to go. Boom. <laughs> that, that is redirection. It's one of the most powerful yeah. things I can teach you. It, but I it, love it takes a while to get used to doing it. It's, a, it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not logical, is it? To go yeah. in the opposite direction. Right. I mean, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, uh, go ahead. Please. Go ahead. No, I, just, I feel like uh, via text message, I'm really good at that. I will always end my texts that way. And so I'm getting used to doing it on the phone more. And so it's, yeah, I, do, I think it's so powerful. I've seen it in, at least in text messages. It works well, well. It's well. Mr. Imagine, go ahead. Imagine that because I mean we do we do send a lot of text messages and and uh, in in SMS it works, but live on the phone or even on video it's it's that on steroids. I mean, yeah. use more of that on the phone, and and it is true what Claude said. It, it is extremely uncomfortable in the beginning because it it, it goes like against <laughs> everything that uh, that we're being taught. But once you start doing it and you get to this stage of like unconscious competence about it, you start doing it. And actually I do it with my wife sometimes. And she's like, don't, don't use guts on me. Like I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. My wife so doesn't know crazy. that I'm learning all this stuff. So I, I can, you still use it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about we do it in the other way? Hey, Hey, uh, hey Landry, you know, I'm thinking of doing the deal with you, but I'm talking to Joe Blow and John Smith, uh, I, I, you know, I'm talking to them. Now you go, now, okay. you do a, now you do a positive redirection to get me to say no about them. It's okay, tricky. Okay, so. Um, and, you know, question, you know um, I'm, I'm looking, I'm thinking of talking to those guys too. Uh, uh, what yeah. should I, I mean, you Well, know, maybe what, you should, what, what maybe you, you should. What, uh, is, there, is there a reason that you're not jumping on board with those guys? Well, I'm going to talk to them again, both of them again. Joe Blow's been in business for a long time and John Smith, uh, he, he was a little cheaper than you. Okay. Well, you know, um, if, if you're really feeling uh, like going with someone else, that's great. I, I can get you something going today. Um, I'm happy to talk about doing something today with you. Um, but if, if, you're, if you're not convinced or not comfortable with, it, with what I have, then um, for sure go with them. Okay. So you might want to ask me, you want to take a shot at that one, Felipe? That's a tricky one. That's a hard one. Yeah. Okay. So go go ahead. Let's let's do it again. So, you know, uh, I mean, Joe Blow, Joe Smith, they're great people, man. They're great people. I I heard great things about them. Now let me ask you this: When they sent you the contract, contract with them. when they sent you the contract, I mean, what what's holding off from signing, Claude? Well, the the Joe Blow guy, you know, I never really got to speak with him. I get I only get his assistant. So, we, and the other guy is cheaper, and I think he, I think he'd take anything I. He keeps dropping his price, which makes me nervous. Uh, so those, you know, so I'm just looking for, I'll be honest with you. I'm just looking for somebody who can get the job done, you know, who can get it done okay. for a fair price. I don't need the cheapest price. Uh, and I want somebody, when I make a phone call, I, I can get the boss on the phone. I mean, that's what, that's what I want. I, I like customer service and I want to get this deal done. 
Now, Claude, I really, really appreciate your being forthright and, and being upfront about what you want. It tells me that you're you're not a, a very honest person when you do business. Um, now, are, are we are we on a Zoom call right now on video at the time that we agreed on one sure. one o'clock? Sure. Okay. How do you how do you feel about that? Because I really, you know, to me, mentoring is something very personal. Uh, yeah, I don't mind getting on off the role play. Did you see how you didn't get defensive? And you say, gee, when you signed the con you you signed a contract with those guys, right? They're cheaper and and everything else like that. I mean, why? You know, well, I didn't sign a contract. Well, why not? They're good guys. Well, they're not that good because. And then I went down my list, and mm -hmm. now I I gave you the meat and potatoes. I gave you how to sell me now. Yeah. And he gets he gives. Um, what what happened there is that you hear the magic words. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see, like after after <laughs> they use they, they they have this this uh, it's never when they start like oh yeah I'm shopping around these guys I'm and like if you go like if you go negative on it and be like oh yeah but they're great people I mean what what's holding you back I mean what why maybe you should do business with them but let me ask mm -hmm. you this before I go mm -hmm. what's holding you from from signing with them or what's important for you yeah and then that's you know like i i think it was uh jim camp start with no no starts the negotiation let him say no because yeah. that after that it becomes way more honest and that's when you're really going to have an adult to adult conversation yeah that's yeah. good this stuff is so much fun because i think it keeps you strong and confident on the phone i was telling felipe uh before i had a guy who made a commitment and then he backpedaled on me went on the witness protection program, send 24 hours later, sends me a text and says, oh, well, we'll do business 45 days from now. Forget about the commitment I met. And I, you know, I told him, no, I don't do business that way. Mm -hmm. he said, We're going to make a decision today or if you feel more comfortable, but it's over. And mm -hmm. I'll never make that offer again to you on your property. Sure. And boom, guess what happened? Claude got a deal. Some got a deal. Doesn't always work, by the way. Yeah. Okay, but who's more? Why do I believe so strongly? I think I'm the only guy who says this. Uh, the salesman comes first. Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's so important? Because we work so hard. I mean, this is. Yeah. This, we we have the option to work with people or not. And, yeah. And um, I what? think it does take take getting to a point where you're not feeling so um like every single lead you get you have to do something with and you have to convert it and when you're starting out and i think that's so hard for people and sure. uh, i think i'm definitely to a point now where i'm disqualifying people left and right now which i wasn't comfortable with a couple months ago so um that that's been a nice change for me just mentally do you, do you think we need to protect our ego I mean, it, it, what happens to us if we get rejected, lied to, manipulated all day long? It's worn uh, down. I mean, that just defeated. It, it, I mean, you know what? You know what a lot of people are going through right now, working from home. 